A Disky Times, now available in stores around the country for only three rand fifty. It is TV powered by World Sports Betting. Another weekend of sporting events. So many things happening at the same time. I think the biggest story, I suppose, uh, is the story of Kaiser Chiefs. We don't know how it will unfold over the last four or five hours. Uh, initially, we were told, uh, or Chiefs had written to the Premier Soccer League uh, to indicate that they have 31 cases of COVID-19 and they were asking for their fixtures. I think the bizarre part of that detail is that they were asking for all of their fixtures in December. Uh, to be cancelled or postponed to next year, which means that if they can't play this weekend, they will play, probably play uh, on the 15th of February after the African Cup of Nations. I say that that's strange because usually when you have COVID cases, it takes you about 10 days um, for a quarantining session. So um, I'm not sure exactly why they were asking for all of the matches, but uh, we do uh, sympathize with them um, and we'll find out exactly what the PSL will do. For now, we'll We'll talk under the pretense that the match will be played tomorrow because we know that Cape Town City has already arrived in Johannesburg. So, Vilagazi, uh, our analyst here, let's maybe look at that game. Um, Cape Town City already is in Johannesburg. They are prepared for a match. Uh, they might be playing against a Kaiser Chiefs that doesn't have most of their, of, of their main squad. I mean, a main squad is 18 and the Chiefs has more than 18 players um, or players plus staff affected by this. That climbing, but uh, number two manje. So if you know such a thing, Ian Zagala Gubo really is gonna step their rhythm as winning. So I go my teachers with how do they win, but in, in the rhythm of winning, yeah. uh, is what step are cool psychologically uh, where they are now. I'm sure they're struggling the whole team. And they're looking at playing against the Cape Town City tomorrow. The Cape Town City sailor. That's another story. You go to PSL is is a handling and this this issue. Uh, but I believe you go to. I doubt you go to the whole real squad. Maybe I think teams. They most of the teams have got about 35 players. Uh, that's why other players they playing for MTC. Uh, I don't know but I, I still feel that Isafa will, will want the game to go on because uh, they will say to them, you've got um, you know, MTC uh, players and they sign uh, the professional contract but are playing with MTC. Uh, you need, it's time to play them. Because of the ones that are supposed to play, uh, they can't play. Because I, you know, it's 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 a difficult one when Uncle Lego really for the Chiefs. Uh, and you know, Cape Town City, obviously, any team you want to capitalize. Uh, you know, look, they've got they've got issues in their house. You don't have issues. You just want to go in for, inside the field of play and play. Yeah, so over just a couple of things to pick up on in what you're saying uh, when I saw. I know that um, recently, very recently, uh, there was an issue with one of the clubs, um, a European club that was forced to play with nine men, yes. um, and they ended up losing that game, um, which indicates that there is a reluctance amongst the leagues to postpone it because it creates a backlog and a backlog and a backlog. Secondly, um, there already is a precedent. We have already dealt with this situation before. And in the LPS Cape Omoya United Google Africa Championship, which is part of the Premier Soccer League, is that they when Cape Omoya United could not play that game as a result of COVID, they forfeited those points. Kushuguti unfortunately they had to lose that game. And by a good DC, by protester, they still lost. 
because everyone was under the same rule enforcement to go to look even if you, you you can't play bring your reserve side because we have to keep the fixtures going forward but anyways i digress very quickly what do you foresee in terms of results in that game uh i i i i i believe i believe that the chiefs will play uh, 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 the boys the Ababago mtc uh, as we just said now, we the Europe it depends. It seems that the bank pay tele, Ogo Guti, they have to play by nine. Yeah, um, yeah. but now they have to play by nine because at least they've got nine players to play. Uh, if you don't have about nine, uh, eight, nine players, you can't play. Yeah. So, I I, I believe Guti achieves the only the only way for them Uguti uh, the game is to play. Uh, the MTC team, yeah, but other than that, well, they just have to say to PSL, I know, they just give the Town City uh, uh, the three points right, because we don't have. Huh? Well, I see Cape Town City winning already with the issues that are, are there. Cape Town City, they've got three points for themselves. All right, uh, it's Telemosh uh, number four taking on Mamelodi Sundowns as well as another fixture that's playing tomorrow. Orlando Paris's match was cancelled. Uh, their second leg against uh, Oilers from Liberia was cancelled. So um, we won't be watching that on Sunday. Um, Sundown, Stellenbosch. I think Stellenbosch is starting to unravel uh, in the Bayabo. Um, teams are starting to, f to notice Uguti. They've found their way, just like Isekukune up there. And now teams are starting to take them a little bit seriously. However, of course, Sundowns are Sundowns. And every time we stand here, we predict a Sundowns win. What do you feel about tomorrow? Gulag is going to be a tough one for Sundowns. It's always been a tough one. He's telling Bosch against Sundowns. Um, where Sundowns you could see, I mean, he's telling Bosch you could see with, you know, they can they can do it. They can do it. But, you know, of course, you have my changes and the changes is like some cost a game. Uh, obvious, I mean, Sundowns, pound to pound, the experience, the group, the whole team, they, they always have an upper hand, you know, and uh, it's it's a team that is always derived in a way you could they want to create the history. They want to create the history. So in eleven games they've considered two goals. So I think they will say to themselves, look, we don't want to concede again uh, 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 until maybe the second round uh, next year. Uh, it's not going to be an easy one. I mean, when you've got about Mendieta, about uh, you've got about uh, 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 to print a lava pambil. Those, those three players they causing havoc, they're really causing havoc. And the sundowns, they know with, 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 with that defense, they have the sundowns uh, where they use their full bags, and, and the, the two set up bags they are not quick enough in terms of really catch up with the, the that three with the speed it's gonna be a tough one right, your score prediction yeah i see sundowns winning uh, i think it can be two one one zero right, so there you go it feels like the same thing over and over again yeah. but unfortunately every weekend it's proven that <laughs> <laughs> it could be sundowns winning but they they continue to win uh it is good tv it is good times what's worth betting thank you for watching